what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be a quick video just to talk about scream 6 mostly and go over a small update about maxine so just to start it off with maxine maxine we know is filming the conclusion well presumed conclusion to ty west's x trilogy that began last year with x starring mia goth also we got pearl later that same year also starring mia goth as pearl and now we're gonna go back to the, the character of maxine who's the survivor from the events of x she is trying to make it as an actress in hollywood doing adult films and of course some more madness i assume will will happen in in the events of that movie kevin bacon halsey and several others are going to be joining mia goth for this upcoming film it's again filming currently out in california so we know a little bit more now about the story some audition tapes have been uncovered and i'm pretty much going to summarize what i see a twitter user matt dilfin put out yesterday to kind of recap what these audition tapes shared with us about the upcoming film so maxine will seemingly explore the topic of satanic panic and make a reference to the night stalker which may be confused with maxine's killing spree now here's the other tidbit i'll add to that maxine is also attempting to break away from the adult industry that she's currently making movies for by starring in her first horror film so maxine has landed a role in an upcoming horror film and this is her attempt to try to break away from this adult content she's been making so we know the film will address stuff related to the adult industry and probably also touch on stuff about the horror genre most likely have, have some meta aspects to it about the horror genre and the adult entertainment industry but what i found interesting was that night stalker portion the night stalker of course that was a real life individual sick person i'm wondering if they're actually just referencing the real individual or are they twisting it and maybe the night stalker is being is the label that is actually related to what maxine is doing is maxine going around doing some killing and she's being referred to as the night stalker and the news might think it's a man for whatever reason or somebody else doing killings that's not maxine time will tell i just thought that was very interesting also a character that will appear in maxine i don't know which of the actresses that are involved in this will be playing this character this could of course be a stage name not a stage name but like a placeholder name and we'll find out the real name when the movie comes out maxine seems to have a very close friend named tabby now we did get a first look at maxine not too long ago they shared a first official image of mia goth shooting the film maxine but she's going to have a character who's close to her in it called tabby tabby is the one who she expressed interest in leaving the adult entertainment industry for an upcoming horror film so we'll have to see how that plays out when the movie releases going into scream six scream six won two big awards well you want to laugh about it down in the comment section below you can have at your will <laughs> big awards as far as i'm concerned for the horror genre won two big awards last night gail weathers courtney cox got her roses finally got her recognition for the best fight sequence with ghostface that was the category that they won last night scream six they also won best movie in that category as far as all these other competitors that were in that category i was a little bit shocked to see scream win not one but both admittedly and this is for the crowd that likes to say that i'm biased towards scream there were contenders in these categories that i thought were much better their sequences i thought were much better i definitely thought top gun should have gotten that best movie category i thought it had it locked but guess not <laughs> i'm very happy though for this w for scream six and it just goes to show you you know this is what many people said was going to be a flop because of one minor setback and i yes i do think of that as a minor setback because i think when you try to inflate a whole franchise's success to a very important character that means so much to me but at the same time what i will not do is delude myself into thinking that there aren't several other contributing factors that have helped make this franchise profitable the way that it has been when you think like that it's just fun to see all that stuff backfire there's there was no way if they were marketing this movie well if they were using the right people getting the attention to the right people uh, and just doing everything in their power to market ghostface the way ghostface should be and draw in everybody who just fell in love with what they saw in screen five even if they hadn't seen any previous movies 
They did everything right. That was going to lead to a success. It didn't matter if Nev Campbell wasn't here. It didn't matter if Sidney Prescott wasn't here. It did not matter. It mattered to me and many diehards who would love to see Sidney Prescott utilized in a good fashion once more. But in terms of box office success, I think they can make countless screen movies without Sidney Prescott. And I think they will continue to be financial successes as long as you are writing something competent, as long as you are marketing it wisely, as long as you are using your other strengths that have helped make this film profitable, this series profitable, because the only thing that has made it profitable is not Sidney Prescott. There's so many different contributing factors to it. So losing Sidney, while that was a gut wrench, while it was something that crushed a lot of hearts, I was not going to delude myself into thinking, oh, well, she's not here, so the movie's going to flop. That's just crazy talk. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below, and congratulations to everybody involved with Scream 6. You guys deserve this. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and there's a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.